morning interwebs. It is about 4.50 in the afternoon. <sighs> and we are getting everybody around and getting ready to leave for Black Squirrel Night where my daughter has her little dance performance tonight. So I got up at a decent time today and Steve had to sleep this morning, so it was just me hanging out with the kids, and they spent most of their time playing outside. Well, I was trying to catch up on Vlogtober projects, because I'm, like, behind by, I think, three days. And I don't know that today's is done yet, but it's like I have ideas and things that I'm working on, and they're not going as fast as I think they should or want them to. So, I was working on this wreath. I did the form and everything yesterday, and I had a vision. Do you ever have that problem? It'd be better if I just couldn't visualize the finished product, because then it wouldn't bother me that it wasn't turning out right. So I tried multiple things, and now these are coming into play. So I think that I have all the parts. I just need to put it together, which I will probably do tonight. And I also have this wreath, which I covered the other day, and it's... Working on its stuff because I want to put holly on it and couldn't find holly that I liked and I'm working on one that I kind of like. But I stopped so I could watch Shameless with Steve this afternoon. We watched a couple episodes and that was good. But we're almost done. So that's sad too. To be almost done watching a show. Don't you hate that when you, especially shows that have like six seasons, you're kind of with them for a long time and all of a sudden it's just done. Sad. So... Anyways, I need to go and get myself finished putting myself together so that we can leave and go black squirrel it up or something, stand in the street and watch kids dance and be cute, basically. which was good. It's a like a big crowded event and I handled it better than I usually do. So yay me. And then we came home and I canned some squash that Steve cut up for me today. So it was some jumbo pink banana squash and I should have seven quarts. That's what you hear in the background is my pressure canner um, doing its little dancey dance. If you don't can um, or don't use this kind of pressure canner, this is my favorite part of using the pressure canner is this weighted bit on the top is what actually provides the pressure and the steam comes out and it does a little dancing. And that's how you like start the timing is when it starts to dance, this little dance. Which is always kind of funny because I can ask the kids, I can be like, go in the kitchen and check, is it dancing yet? So, I am um, just waiting for that to get done, it has about 16 minutes. Hopefully in that time I can get the vlog edited and uploaded for you all because my stomach hurts. Um, I came home and made dinner. I made what the kids all called squash stuff. <laughs> I took rigatoni and I cooked it in some leftover squash soup. And I don't think it's what I ate that made my stomach hurt. I actually, I was holding my son on my shoulders at the, um, during the dance stuff. And I kind of think it might be the muscles in my stomach. Um, they do this randomly when I do certain things. So I don't know. But I'm going to try and get this up and then go to bed because Steve um, arranged to have to work two hours later since we had to go to Black Squirrel Night. So he will actually be in bed for a while. So that means I can sleep with him, which usually means I get better sleep. So I'll try and soak up some people he's here if the children will ever finish going to bed. Um, plus, I need my rest because tomorrow we're going to Manhattan to buy things for the new kitchen. This morning I worked out all the finances and figured out where everything was and that there's enough cash and we just need to go by the bank tomorrow and cash a check and then yeah, we'll be able to buy all the stuff in cash, which is awesome. 
Um, and, you know, we worked for it, but it's exciting that we're going to get to do this stuff. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.